it's now the middle of June almost and the temperatures are starting to creep up to sometimes the upper 90s in the heat of the day and the wife's kind of bringing the hammer down as far as getting the air conditioning fixed on the Taurus so I went down to Walmart and I bought some refrigerant this is 134A it's what all cars 1995 and newer I believe use or maybe it's 93 and newer but anything fairly recent should have this and some cars have been converted from the old style refrigerant R12 to 134A um, and it's a pretty easy fix as long as there's not a big leak in your system I'm pretty sure my system is okay because when I start the car and turn on the air conditioner I can hear the compressor turning on I can hear a click of the compressor clutch coming on and off which means there's still a little bit of coolant or a little bit of refrigerant in the system I'm just hoping if I top it off that will uh, fix the problem and I'll have an ice cold air conditioning I've started the car and turned on the AC because I want you to hear what the compressor sounds like when it's going on and off. If you listen, you can hear a periodic click. Right there. That's the compressor turning on and off. There it was again. And it should cycle for longer than that if it has an adequate amount of refrigerant in the system, but because this one's low, it's not working correctly. In addition to this can of refrigerant, you also need an adapter gauge hose assembly to add the refrigerant to the car, and I think I have one here in the shop somewhere, but uh, let's see. Uh, uh -huh. You can usually buy them at Walmart. Uh -huh. So this is from the last use. It's just something that plugs into the can and then the, this end plugs into the car. And then it has a gauge that lets you know how full the system is. Well lucky for me it turns out I still had a little bit of refrigerant in this container that's why it's still hooked to this gauge hose assembly that must have been why I put it away with with it attached so we'll first put this refrigerant in and see if we need to put this one in too the way that you add refrigerant is you need to locate the fitting on the car that this will attach to in my case it's right here and it looks like this. This is called the low, low pressure side um, fitting. This is where we'll be filling the system with refrigerant. Don't get it confused with the high pressure side. It looks different. It's a little bit bigger and this fitting won't fit on it either. So just find the fitting that your hose adapter will fit onto. In order to add the refrigerant we first need to start the car and set it on max AC. So we'll do that now. Now with the car running I'm going to attach this fitting and open this valve to add the refrigerant and then I need to watch this gauge and what I want to see is I want the needle in the blue zone which is right around 30 pounds of pressure in the low side with the AC running. So we'll attach the fitting. say that it's helpful to rev the motor while you do it, but I don't know if that's important. 
important or not. And the AC is getting cooler. You feel that? Of course you do. And if you notice, the compressor is running for a longer amount of time now. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's definitely getting better. I've used up what little bit of refrigerant was in this can and I thought I should mention that what we're going for here, what we're uh, trying to achieve is when the AC compressor is cycling, we want to keep the pressure right at about 30 pounds, which is in the middle of this blue zone. We don't want it too low because that would indicate too low of a charge and we don't want to keep it Still a little bit on the low side. We're just a, just a shade above 25 with the compressor cycle, which it's doing right now. You'll notice you don't hear it clicking on and off fast like you did before because now it's got sufficient coolant to, to circulate it. From what I understand, what happens is if there's not enough refrigerant in the system, the AC compressor will start to cycle, but then it'll realize there is too little pressure in the low side, so to save the compressor, it'll shut itself off, because if it runs dry or whatever, that's probably not good. So I'm going to tap into my new can here and see if I can't get a little bit more refrigerant into the car. I've got my new can hooked up. I'm going to add a little bit of refrigerant here. What we want to see is we want that needle to stay above the green zone even when it's cycling. cycles it pulls a little bit more refrigerant into the system. system enough that it's holding a steady 30 pounds with the AC compressor running it's not cycling on and off like it was so I think I can disconnect that I think we're ready to have some cool summer rides in the car And it's nice and cool in here with the AC on max. So that should satisfy the little lady with regard to automobile temperature. To disconnect, I have my can turned off. I can just pull the quick disconnect. And there's still a little bit of refrigerant left in there. And I can replace the dust cover. Thanks for watching.